Hi, please join me for a quick tour of Google Compute Engine. Our vision is to help you run your applications on the same infrastructure we use for hosting Google's applications. And Compute Engine is three things. It's virtual machines, it's networking, and it's disks. So you start with a project, and it's an administrative grouping of Google's APIs. And we have a lot of APIs, including other services for compute and storage. But right now, we're going to focus on Compute Engine. And here, we can think of the project as your virtual private cluster to use for whatever you need. Inside the project, we have virtual machines, we have networks, and we have disks. So the network. And the network is Google's network. It's the same network we use to serve all of our products. And we work very hard to get traffic from the internet onto our dedicated infrastructure and get it to your virtual machines as quickly as possible. And your part of this network is private to your project. All of your virtual machines can see each other on the same network, but nobody else can see your project, and you can't see anyone else's. We work hard to make it easy to use, including a DNS server that maps the names of your virtual machines to their internal IP addresses, making it easy to configure and connect to other machines. The Compute Engine Load Balancer is Google's network-level distributed load balancer, bringing packets directly to your virtual machines. So you've got a pool of virtual machines, and Google's infrastructure balances the load to all of those machines. We published a blog post recently with details of scaling the load balancer to 1 million queries per second without any advance warning or pre-warming. And it only hits virtual machines that are healthy. And you get to define for your application exactly what healthy means. So we've got networks, we've got load balance traffics on those networks. And next up, we have virtual machines. And virtual machines are literally the core of Compute Engine. When creating a virtual machine, you choose what balance of CPU to RAM is right for your needs. And these virtual machines are all running on Google's infrastructure in the same data centers we use for our products. We work very hard to keep the underlying machines up to date. They get software updates, hardware gets replaced when it needs to, that sort of thing. These virtual machines are billed by the minute with a 10 minute minimum. So you can use them in a wide variety of situations that just wouldn't be possible if the billing intervals were longer. All of these instances boot off of persistent disk, which is a logical block storage device that's spread out in the data centers. And it's been designed for high performance and very consistent IO latency. If you already have a database you're happy with, this is a great place to host it, and any other latency sensitive workloads you have. Your virtual machines get that high performance and consistent IO latency because the infrastructure is distributing the underlying blocks across hundreds or thousands of machines optimizing the reads and writes to give excellent performance. And did I mention the consistent IO latency? We strive to make it work at the same speed all the time. Workloads should perform the same from day to day, from machine to machine. And I don't know about you, but I really like sleeping through the night. So the key to that is automation. We've all got this virtual machines and hardware. So let's take advantage of that fact, the fact that it's virtual, by automating everything we can. So we've got tools to help, and we've partnered with several excellent groups to offer services for scaling and managing your infrastructure. We've also created plugins for a wide variety of open source management tools. All of this access, all of the access to Compute Engine, is via our HTTP and JSON API. Everything I just mentioned. Also, our command line tools and our developer console built on the same API. This means your code has the same access to all the features of Google Compute Engine. And now you know the fundamentals of Compute Engine. We have a lot more details in the documentation. Thanks for watching, and we're really looking forward to seeing what you build. Happy computing.